Hey everybody, Kelson Doe here, and I'm just taking a few minutes, and I'm looking back at my gameplay, and I'm going to run you through everything that's gone on with this game, as well as ways that I could improve on the game. Now, uh, the main reason I'm doing this is because I actually forgot to hit to uh, the record button for the audio in uh, fraps so that's the first thing that needs to be corrected the second reason I'm doing this is because um, it'll hopefully help me get better with Athena as the title suggests but on top of that it'll also help me get better uh, help y'all get better as well so let's go ahead and check things out okay. now for our team composition um, it, it does look pretty decent. Apollo and Athena is the the duo that ends up going right lane, and uh, it it actually worked out quite well because I have my uh, my ability that pulls them back in as well as Apollo's ability to uh, stun them. So that was really really good composition that we had going there. Alright, and here you can see our buffs, and you know, nothing nothing unusual about here. Um, I do end up tanking this just because I know that Apollo is uh, not going to be tanky enough to handle that, but on top of that, um, generally what we would have normally done is have somebody block them or wall them, but Kronos wasn't up for that, so that didn't happen. So we passed the the orb on to Apollo and then I went for this now normally whenever I play Athena in either solo lane or in a uh, just regular lane I guess duo um, I, I normally pick up my two first and the reason being is because it, it allows me to, to have a little bit of control if, if somebody comes in for an early gank you, you just really don't know where they're going to be going Ever. You know, it all varies from person to person. Sometimes they're good at it, sometimes they're not. Um, here I went for the wrong ability first, but it, it kind of worked out to our advantage. If I would have popped my ability like I was supposed to, I kind of missed it right there. An ally has been slain. And I, I did notice that our Kronos was having some issues, but it, it was too late. He didn't call for help. And there's really nothing we could do about it. An enemy has been slain. Now one of the things I like to do with Athena is uh, I like to use my one, charge in, pop my three, and then grab him and bring him back in with my two. Uh, but because Hebo was so lame, difficult to, to get him in there and the reason why he was solo laning they had they actually had two solo lanes um, <clears throat> was because uh, or possibly three I think they had three and the reason was because they had a uh, Sobek disconnected so they started off at a disadvantage so yeah I'd, I'd missed that grip so I didn't bother doing it Especially under the tower, you really don't want to do that. My ability, grab him, pull him in, pop my three. He goes in. I I wasn't sure if he was gonna go in. A lot of people, for some reason, and uh, he got the jump on us <clears throat> because I was being a bad support and I didn't buy any wards. Right there, what I was trying to do was uh, use an ability so that I can get a, a halibut to throw at him, but I kind of I kind of forgot to, <laughs> to pop an ability so that I can get a halibut. So not much happening here. Hebo possibly going to hit me. Ability. Pop that. He didn't sing until too late, so 
didn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, one of the things I do want to point out about team composition that I was talking about earlier, we have three magic dealers and then two physical. They, on the other hand, had four physical and one magic, which is fine <coughs> if you're going to have a really powerful carry with magic. But people pick me up. And uh, this was one of my problems. Sorry, to interrupt. I was watching to see if he was going to be able to pick off him. And uh, while doing that, I was screwing around, and I was like, "Oh crap!" I didn't hurt. So I ended up having to hurry up and use my bullet to get over there and try to grab him, and get him killed. So <laughs> I kind of forgot to buy an item. That was my fault. So let's talk more play. I think that's the lesson that could be picked up there. But as I was saying, um, if Hebo would have been a stronger carry, he could have really offset the, the damage. We would have all built physical defense with, with a little bit of magic, and he could have just gone straight penetration and just dealt a ton of damage, but it never happened because he... He never really got dead. I mean, for some reason, their Fenrir just keeps going for the tank. And, I mean, even though I forgot to buy, it doesn't really make a difference. There we go. I picked up a couple wards at this point and a few potions. And shard. I like shard. Mm, you see my ultimate is not up yet. And I noticed that Fenrir was going around the side, so I was able to actually get the jump on here. So that worked out. Make him a little nervous. For some, like I said, Fenrir, he just feels compelled to go for the tank for some reason. <laughs> I don't I don't know why you would attack the tank. And I just came back. Bam. Got him. Gone. And and I've actually noticed quite a bit of people here recently have been going for the tank. I mean I'm I'm built to absorb more damage. You know, why focus the person that's built to absorb damage. Go for the person that's not built to to handle you with ease. I know right here, um, I actually almost completely screw up coming up. Gave Hebo a free kill. Start placing my wards. Your middle tower is under attack. And my ward placement was horrible on this. Fenrir's like, oh crap, he caught me. I'm busted. Yes. The short answer is yes. But I ran out of mine real fast. <clears throat> Retreat! An ally has been slain. <laughs> so I, ideally I should have gone back to the uh, region buff and uh, I, I actually never went back to go get it a second time and that really would have helped out the game if we had done that so that was one, that's one of the main things I need to make sure I concentrate on I mean they had a jungle but he wasn't really they're a shorter person, so the jungle's not going to be as strong. A constant. See, again, he went straight for the tank. I think I might die here, possibly. No. No, I lived. He picked up a kill off of Apollo, but... 
See, this is the part right here where I almost got killed because I just wasn't thinking. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. So luckily, his ultimate was not ready. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. Finish my boots at long last. A couple of pots. Enemy missing left. One of the harder things is, for some fire. reason, people. Uh, and I wish we could pan to the next camera because they'll see Athena's ability and they run away. They run away from the enemy, and I I just don't understand. Maybe they've never played with an Athena before, but whenever you see a light go around you and there's no one near you, it's because Athena is getting ready to fall on top of you. And when that happens, she's going to deal a lot of damage and uh, aid the team greatly. But I, they just couldn't. My team couldn't get it. Now, I, I think with this Finrear attack, um, he, he hopped out with an ability and it, it left me in this spot. So ideally it should have worked, but, but I'm speaking in generals. I've had so many matches here recently where you're just like, really? <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Why would you run away? I'm coming to help you. You have almost all your HP and you're freaking running away. It's the stupidest thing ever. Whatever. If you've never played Athena, check her out in the practice mode. She's good. And practice mode, really. You get to learn what everybody does. What can and can't be done. Well, we do. It's just Apollo has. To, I think it's Apollo. Gets him on the back end. Mm, okay, maybe that's a different time. Again, I I didn't plan on doing this, so it just happens that I can't. He wasn't paying attention at all. Kind of goofed on that. Apollo's like, oh look, I'm gonna go kill him. But he was too far. He wasted his ultimate for that. He just missed him. Apollo was there to, to bail him out. So he got real lucky with that. Yeah, Apollo saved us on a few of them. Uh, here, I actually forgot who I was. I was talking about Apollo and 
I just for some reason completely forgot that I was not Apollo and uh, I walked out and I was like huh, do -do. oh crap I'm not Apollo dang it <laughs> so I ended up having to sell that back losing the money and buying something else So, pay attention to who you are, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, it was so stupid. Uh, waste of money. Uh, one of the other things that, um, about Athena that I, I don't really care for is that it, and you're going to see it coming up real shortly. Um, I'm not sure when to pop my ultimate because no one's calling out for help. And I, I noticed that they're doing a lot of 3v2s and, and 4v2s and so forth. But one of the things I don't like about Athena is that I, I don't know if it's possible or not. But I can't figure out how to cancel her ultimate. Like if you start casting it, how do you cancel an ultimate? I mean, if you know, let me know, because that would be fantastic news. Because right in, coming up shortly, I start channeling for my ultimate. I'm like, okay, no, I don't want to waste it. And, and I should have gone in all actuality. Just to ensure that my team didn't get hurt like we did. But... I, I sided against it and because of that Apollo died. So I, I channeled it on Apollo right as he died and because it, he died, it dropped me right in my exact same spot. And I completely wasted my ult. You know, thankfully she doesn't have a super long cooldown on other ults, but more like other ults. But my goodness, it just, it's so annoying that her ultimate just does not have the I, I don't mind if it's all the time. Try to hit as many, build him. I got jumped here, I wasn't paying attention. I, I didn't ward. But again, I'm, I'm building because their team composition, they didn't build very well. And so, because they didn't build very well, it was really easy to, to know that um, you know, four out of five of them are going to be able to attack damage. Bam, gone. So, you know, or I, I should say three out of four, because they had one guy missing. But you know, three out of four, I had a really good chance of it being a, a physical attack person. Your team has destroyed a left and enemy tower. so I'm I'm basically prepared against that. Yeah, it was Hebo that showed up, but I mean, don't pop your ultimate on the tank who's probably going to survive. And because we right able to do that, we started being able to steamroll through their team a little bit better. Let's see, in, in this go around, Seriously? I'm coming. I might not save you. But I can do a lot more damage. No, he, he was right to run. I'm just saying. On that one, he didn't even look like he grabbed him. Blink. I thought saved Apollo right there because he was taking him to the tower and he can't go anywhere. They're still 
chasing me for some reason. Mm -mm -mm. There he goes. He's only doing 65 damage. That's not gonna be to kill me. See, I'm staying a little bit more cautious than I am. got it. I say that and I get it. Here's the gate. Stole that one. We completely stole that one. surrendered so there you have it if you like this let me know if you didn't like it let me know don't forget to hit the subscribe button share this video let me know if I did horrible on this and we'll talk to you guys later